Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. Today, we're gonna talk about friendlies. You got it? Friend, friendly. You got it? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we're gonna talk about a friendly game that happened today behind closed doors between Chelsea Football Club and Peter Bro. But before I continue this review, let me remind everybody around the world that six weeks ago, we became champions of Europe for the second time. And we're still champions of Europe until somebody else takes over next year in May. That is long, long way to go, right? And who knows? We might win it back to back and keep it at the bridge next season again. Fingers crossed. So I'm still celebrating. I promised people to be unbearable for a little while, which I was for only a few days. I didn't really celebrate the way I was supposed to do. But hey, life moves on and we have to think about the future, right? Anyways, guys, let's go back and talk about the preseason game between Chelsea Football Club and Peter Bro. And that is the first preseason game for a bunch of lads that are coming from a long vacation or from the Lone Army or whatever. So I am really not expecting anything than getting some minute under their belt if that makes sense so this is the game that i was prepared even to lose 10-0 <laughs> which is would never happen to chelsea of course but you know what i'm trying to say this is not the game to take seriously you know um they have heavy legs at the moment they are trying to avoid injuries and they are getting a lot of massage they're gonna play just 30 minutes or 45 minutes or even 20 minutes so it's not something really to take seriously and by the way i didn't watch it on tv because i checked on my subscription chelsea tv they didn't show it i don't know if they did late but i, I got discouraged and um the good thing is that we, we, we had some journalists uh, in the game that were giving us kind of uh, a report, you know, minute by minute what is happening there, uh, what are the changes and all that. So it was good. It was better than the QPR game last season, right? Behind closed doors that we never even saw a picture. <laughs> We're still waiting for the pictures or anything. But I don't know what happened to that game, man. <laughs> Like I said, the result doesn't count for me for this game. However, we have some talking point to discuss from that game. Talking point number one, three at the back continues. Yeah, the first preseason game, we had three, four, two, one. You know what I mean? So that tells you the ambition from the manager. You know, that is his preferred formation and we might see it again next season which is good because you don't change the formation that uh, winning games and winning trophies right my only problem with this uh, formation is that we are not giving uh, some players the ability to play in their natural positions and that is affecting them and that could see them out of the door because they can't fit the new system. If you're going to continue to play Kalim Hassan Adoy as a wing back, you know, I'm sorry, but we are wasting some talent right there. You know what I mean? If you can play him as a winger from the left and you can see how he's going to perform. But we don't know, man. Kalim Hasanado is still very young. He can still improve. He can still learn the new position. But it doesn't really look good. It doesn't really sound even good to call him a wing back. You know what I mean? Somebody like Hakim Ziyech 
playing in a different position when I play three at the back I don't have to be too precise here and go to the details because I've already made so many videos explaining talking point number two west of space you're gonna ask me what that means okay what space we are wasting here okay so bear with me here we see some people like Zappa Costa, right? Danny drink water and a lot of uh, a lot of lad in that uh, preseason that are not going to be there um, at the beginning of the season. We all know that, okay? Which is good. I'm not complaining about it because everybody deserves a chance, a very new beginning. But my problem is that those players are going to block the way to the new generation yeah we all know that chelsea we don't care about the youth but this is just me my biased opinion here as an og you know as somebody who like to see like youngsters given a chance somebody like um, tino Enjuren wasn't there lewis bet wasn't there and uh, you ask yourself what's going on here is the contract situation again are they moving out or is the manager already told them that uh, he's not counting on them you know few academy products that i wanted to see this season but that is me wasting time here you know I i'm gonna keep on talking about youth i know uh, many people in the channel are not happy you know they're gonna tell you if we won the champions league blah, 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 blah. we all understand you know we we are here supporting chelsea for different reasons you are supporting chelsea for trophies i support chelsea for community for the badge for the color for the family for more than football you know so i'm not gonna get into the details of this but for me if i was thomas tuko huh maybe i was going to try a few youngsters uh, during this uh, preseason and then develop my own players and take all credit just like lampard did now everybody is taking credit for mason mount uh, Rhys james and tammy abraham and others they forgot that somebody gave them a chance and was patient accepted all kind of insult from people from specialists on on social media but at the end they are giving credit to somebody else you know what i mean talking point number three ross the boss barkley i don't know about you guys but i have a very weird feelings when it comes to ross barkley I am the only person in the community to defend this boy when he missed the penalty in the Champions League, when he got caught, you know, fighting with uh, the taxi driver or drinking out in Dubai or whatever. I made videos defending the boy always. I'm always with my Nigerian brother, Ross Barkley, defending him all the time. But I can see something on him. I don't know. There are certain players that you don't understand how you got attached with them you can't really explain it because everybody else calling them flop but you can see something that certain people don't see so i think that he's going to surprise people next season i see him as a thomas tuko kind of a, uh, a player you know what i'm trying to say here well like i said i might be biased here but Keep your eye on open on Ross Barkley and he could surprise us next season. And let me know in the comment down below, do you have a player that you always trust? You always believe that he could do something. Maybe this is his season. Maybe next game is going to be his game and like never happened or it happened. Let me know in the comment and let's have a discussion. Talking point number four and the last one is going to be a good start. Well done, Chelsea. We won 6-1 at the end. Like I said, it doesn't really count that much, but that is a confidence boost. You like it or not, whatever the team you play against, if you score a goal, you feel like you are the man. You know, you, you feel more confident. So I don't want to hear about, oh, we played, you know, a, a team from a lower division or whatever because guess what arsenal lost right <laughs> they are last uh, preseason game 
they lost but we won 6-1 at the end Tammy Abraham Christian Pulisic uh, in the first half so it was 2-0 half time and the second half was all Hakim Ziyech show a hat trick the hat trick hero <laughs> sending the message a clear message to Thomas Tuchel like hey next season you play me and I will deliver <laughs> And Armando Broja, man, I'm so happy that our strikers are scoring. Tammy Abraham with a goal. Armando Broja with a goal. Hakim Ziyech doing his thing. Christian Pulisic doing his thing. And I heard that Kalim Hasunadoy pretty much destroyed everybody. Even if he didn't score, but he played a very, very good game of football. And if you don't mind, please give the video a like subscribe to the channel we are getting closer to 100k it's gonna happen before uh, the beginning of the season i am very confident about it but i can't do it without you guys 65 percent of you guys are not subscribed yet i don't have any help i don't have big account to give me a shout or whatever i'm just fighting you and me we are fighting for this channel so help me out man it costs nothing and it takes you one second to do it one click and it's done god bless you be cool like angolo kante think outside the box and see you in the next one